This episode is sponsored by CruiseLine.com, where you can review cruise prices using easy-to-use cruise search. Hey, cruisers. We are packing for our Mediterranean cruise. Yay! The time has finally come. So we're going to get right into what is different about this packing game than any cruise we have ever been on before. If you are new to our channel, Cruise Tips TV, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now because you are not going to want to miss our awesome vlogs from our MSC Cruise Round Trip Rome Seven Nights. It is coming in hot and we're super duper excited. Okay, so we are cruising Round Trip Rome to Spain, France, and Italy for seven nights. Now, this is a late winter, early spring cruise. So the clothing and accessories that you're going to be seeing today are with that season in mind. If you are cruising in the middle of winter to the Mediterranean or the middle of summer, your clothing game would be totally different than what we're doing today. Let's talk first about what is different from today's packing video than the other packing videos that we have done. The interactions that I've been having with all of you on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter have been, hey, what are you doing differently for Europe? I really want to know what you're doing that is unique to the Mediterranean. So I'm going to go through that list right now so that you know right up front, and then we'll talk about it as we progress through the video as well. The number one thing that we're doing differently is we've invested in some anti-theft solutions. We will be doing some sightseeing in Rome, and I hear it's a really good idea to keep your belongings kind of close to you in some of these European cities. So I have decided to take my Travelon Parkview anti-theft backpack. The thing I like about this one is that it has locking compartments, it has anti-slash strips, and it has RFID protection all in one. We do have a discount code with Travelon. We'll put it in the description below, but that is number one difference is our focus on anti-theft. Number two, I'm going a different, ooh, I want to make sure that doesn't fall. <laughs> I'm going a different route with my carry-on on the plane this time. My personal item on the plane will not be a backpack. I'm actually taking my Mia Tui Jenny bag. Now, you've probably Probably have seen this bag before. It has a very giant interior. I'll give you a quick look at that. That holds, quite frankly, it holds more than my backpack can. But my favorite thing about this is that I'm going to be saving my back as we go through the airport because this has a little uh, area that you can slip over the handle of your carry-on luggage. Hello, just like that. And that is something that I love. I've used my Jenny, my Mia Tui Jenny, excuse me, Mia Tui Jenny, many times before on shorter trips, and it has never failed me. I also have a discount code for that, so you can look for it in the description. So that's number two. The third thing that we're doing differently is our shoe packing situation is really different on this cruise. So as we get into... Um, my clothing items, my husband's and my son's, I will show you all of the shoes, why we chose them and why we did purchase some new shoes for this trip. The number four thing that I'm doing differently is I'm actually packing with TSA friendly clear plastic bags. Instead of using my traditional uh, quart size Ziploc bag, I have decided to up level my TSA game a little bit. So we're gonna be packing two of these. This is the one that I'm using for all of my toiletries. And then the second one is just gonna be overflow in case I decide to bring something home with me or I need a place to put all of my liquid lipstick. I know guys, I need a TSA. TSA bag just for my liquid lipstick. It's kind of ridiculous, but I will have some extra space. So you can see here in my little toiletry bag, which will, by the way, be going in my carry-on since we have to put that through the TSA process. We've got things like um, toothpaste, shampoo, conditioner, shaving cream, some body oil. Uh, I've got hair gel for my son. We've got antibiotic ointment and eye drops, lotions, things like that, all of the liquids. So that is something that we're doing a little bit differently. I wanted to let you know about this time. Also, I have a new suitcase and it's so beautiful. You know that we have um, shown you all before many bags from eBags and we've featured the eBags TLS family before. And today I'd like to present you my new eBags. Oh my goodness sakes, this is hard to squeeze into this teeny tiny little situation. This is a TLS spinner from eBag. So as you can see, it is a four wheel suitcase and it spins. So it has kind of a hard back and a soft front and it combines all of the things that we love about the TLS family of products. So we're going to be packing into this. 
Speaking of the packing portion of this video, you'll want to stay tuned to the very end if you'd like to see us get everything into the suitcase. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you as much as we possibly can, kind of up close and personal. And then at the end, we're going to do a little speed packing and get all this stuff into our three carry-on suitcases. Yes, we are going carry-on only as we normally do with full understanding that because we are traveling internationally, those bags may need to be checked at some point, and that is perfectly fine for us. That has happened before where, you know, traveling within the United States, our carry-on bags meet the requirements for carry-on only, but internationally they do not. So this may be a combination of carry-on and checked baggage, but we understand that that is totally possible and we're willing to accept that. Okay, another new thing that you might notice on the shelf behind me is some cute polka dotted packing cubes. These right here are from eBags and that was a new little treat that I got for this particular cruise. We're going to be using those and we're also going to be showing you um, this Bagail compression packing cube. Um, compression packing cubes are wonderful for compressing your items, for squishing things down to make them a little more manageable. We recently did a full review on these Bagail compression packing cubes on our Cruise Gear channel, if you'd like to check that out to learn a little bit more about them. But this is what we're packing my son's stuff in. So that's that. Now, the last thing I wanted to let you guys know that we're not going to be doing on this cruise is we're not going to be doing our own laundry. So we have had to pack accordingly. In some cases, that has meant packing a little bit more in a few departments. Like we had to pack a few more pairs of socks, a few more pairs of underwear, a few more shirts, just in case we decide we don't want to pay to have any laundry done at all. I think we're probably okay with what we've packed. You know, if you follow our channel, that normally we actually do a load or two of laundry on a longer cruise, anything on over, you know, over maybe seven nights. We tend to do our own laundry if that self-serve type of laundromat is available on a cruise. So we're not planning to do that this time. All right. So that is my list of things that we're doing differently. Now let's get into the nuts and bolts of how we're packing for this cruise. Let's go ahead and start with my uh, in-flight carry-on bag. So this is the bag that I'll be taking on the plane. As I mentioned, this is the Mia Tui Jenny. The bag has wonderful compartments on the inside. As you can see, there's just so much space. There's so many compartments. So there's a special compartment for a water bottle. And obviously when we're traveling, we try to avoid using a ton of single use plastics. You can't always avoid it, but I love this water bottle because you can screw the top off and you can fill it up at those airport, um, you know, the airport water stations without having to, to get the water in the tiny hole. So I love this. And to be honest, I've used it, even used this before for snacks for my son. So these are great. And we're going to go ahead and create a special store so that you can, you can actually shop this video using an, a Europe European cruise focused store on our Amazon shop. So you can look forward to finding this item and dozens of other items that we mentioned today in that shop, including some of the shoes and toiletries and things like that. All right. So that's in the special water bottle, bottle container. You've seen my toiletries. So those are going in here in a little a little container. I'm uh, also packing my passports and the little plastic things you'll see hanging out of there are some plastic luggage tag covers. These are actually for our cruise luggage tags. So we're not going to affix those to our suitcases until after we've landed in Rome because we don't want them to get roughed up in the process. So we'll get those put on our suitcases and get all our boarding documents put in here once I print them off. But this is what I'm putting all my passports in. You may notice I don't have a pen in here. That is because this bag has a wonderful pen holder. So I have pens, pencils, highlighters, and all of that stuff sort of stuffed into this bag. All right, next up in here, we have my wonderful little travel on tech bag. And this is where I have all of my chargers and things like that. These are so compact, but you will be surprised at how much they hold. I'll open it up and show you how much is here. So I have a portable charger for port days when we know we won't have access to any plugs. I have headphones, I have little charging blocks, I have cables for all types of phones, and I have a spare set of headphones so that we can, you know, if anybody has a, an issue with their headphones on the airplane or something will have a spare pair. I also have in here a Ziploc bag that I like to carry with me on flights. This has a bunch of sanitizing, hand sanitizing wipes. We like the brand called 
Santa hands. They look a little bit like this, and they are alcohol-based. If you've been hanging around here for a while, you are no stranger to these. I like them so much better than hand sanitizing gels, and they make my hands feel really clean. I also have some Clorox wipes for cleaning down our airplane seats. So once we get to our seats, I usually, and don't laugh at me, you guys, you can't laugh at me. Mr. Cruz Tips TV laughed at me when he saw me do this. I actually put this glove on so I don't, like, you know, get chemicals all over my hands. And I take these Clorox wipes and I kind of wipe down the area a little bit. I wipe down the armrests, the tray tables, the buttons, things like that. And, you know, the metal part of our seat belts just to feel like I'm not picking up extra germs on the plane. So that's another thing that's in this bag. And then of course I have some Advil in case we get headaches, something like that. International flights, it's always really tricky. A few other things that I have in here <clears throat> that are kind of tucked in and not easy to show you right now would be a sleep mask because um, obviously we're gonna be doing some pretty long flights, about 13 hours combined to get there. So maybe we can get a little sleep. And also in my son's backpack, we have some travel neck pillows, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Isn't this bag like never ending, you guys? It fits so much stuff. This is actually going to be my makeup bag. This is a Mia Tui. I can't remember if this is the bow or the gem, but it has a ton of pockets in it. Now my makeup is not in here yet because I'm leaving it in my normal makeup bag until we leave, but you can see all of these little compartments that have elastic on them that allow me to place my makeup in little compartments and it kind of holds everything together nicely. And I believe that the last item I have in here, in addition to my wallet, which of course I'll be traveling with, I, I don't need to take that out right now, but this is just a shawl that can double as a pillow, it could be used as a neck wrap, it could be used as a blanket to snuggle my son with. There's just so many different things that you can use a wrap for, so I highly recommend traveling with one of those. All right. That wraps up my carry-on bag. Now, next up, we're going to look at Junior's carry-on bag. Mr. Cruise Tips TV will be uh, traveling with his normal camera bag. We're not gonna feature that today because we've done videos on the bag and what's inside of his tech bags on our Cruise Gear channel where we open the bag and go into great detail, so we don't wanna repeat that, but we can link to that in the description of this video. So, this particular backpack, I'm just gonna pack in my suitcase. Remember, this is anti-theft. This is not what I'm taking on the plane. This is just what I'm gonna be using for sightseeing. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this backpack aside for now. Okay, next up is Junior's backpack. We try to keep his backpack as light as possible. He's a little guy. He's, you know, he's he probably doesn't weigh <laughs> 50 pounds soaking wet, and he's, you know, he's still really young, so I don't want him to be burdened with a super heavy backpack. But as you can see, he has a couple of pens here for little art projects and things like that. My table's adjustable, sorry for the beep. I just bumped the adjuster. And then what we have in his backpack, this is actually a really funny combination of things. He'll have a device or two in here for entertaining himself. He usually takes a Kindle to read books and some other type of device, like an iPad type thing. And then we have one of our travel pillows. This is a Travelon inflatable neck pillow. Really like the inflatable neck pillows because they take up so much um, less space. So we're going to put that in his bag. It's very lightweight. And then his favorite snack, beef jerky. And I got to tell you, you guys, it is so nice to have a little protein in your bag when you're on a long haul flight because you just never know what you're going to be offered. And I find that airplane meals and snacks tend to be very high carb. And my son and I are both those types of people who really need protein. And, you know, especially if we get kind of hangry, we definitely need something like this or some nuts or something to stabilize the old blood sugar and get us back on track. So that's his main snack. He then has his little lanyard for his key card. We bought this years ago at Home Depot and he takes it on every cruise. It's ancient, but it's holding up just fine. And then we have a little snack pack container from our friend Natasha from her 31 store. So cute, but we've got some little fruit roll up type things in there and that works. So his bag is not completely full yet. As we progress through our packing project, this will fill up more. He'll have a sweatshirt in here, something to keep him warm. I'll place his sunglasses in this bag. But for now, as you can see, it's pretty empty. We'll get his Kindle and his device in there, but I do have one more travel neck pillow. This is a cooling gel travel neck pillow from Travelon that we absolutely love. And it's actually quite compact. 
it's not super wide. So we're gonna go ahead and take that one with us this time and give it a try. And then we can also place, if we need an extra water bottle, we can place that in one of the little side compartments here. So that is Junior's stuff. I did forget to mention uh, my toiletry bag, which I probably will squeeze into that Jenny carry-on bag from Mia Tui, but this is my e-bags packet flat toiletry bag. Not sure where I'm gonna put this yet. It might have to go in the suitcase, we'll see. But the only thing that I think I would really need from this bag on the flight might be our toothbrushes. So maybe as soon as you get to the end of a long flight, you wanna brush your teeth. Sometimes not, because I'm not really a fan of drinking that, you know, putting that water in my mouth that's in the bathroom, but I might take a water bottle in there, brush my teeth, something like that. But for the most part, I think everything in this bag could probably just go in our checked or carry-on suitcase and we don't have to see it until we get there. So quick peek at what's in here. We've got deodorant, a brush, our toothbrushes, razors. I have my lash strips, some earplugs, and some chapstick and things like that. And then in the side containers here, we have some baby powder. We have um, some norovirus wipes put into a small container, and then we have some vitamins. So I'm not gonna open these because things tend to fall out of them. But this bag is really practical, and I do continually gravitate towards this e-bags packet flat, and this is absolutely one of the items that we've put in our European cruise packing store for you. So awesome, love these, you've gotta get one. Another thing that I wanted to draw your attention to that many of you have seen before is this binder that we like to cruise with. This binder holds all of the important documentation that we may need for our cruise, including flight information, hotel info, onboard reservations that have been printed off, excursion information, a place to put receipts, and a nice pocket here on the front for you to store things like receipts or the daily newsletters that you may want to bring home with you. We've had so many requests to find out how we organize this binder that we've done two things. Number one, in our Intro to Cruising Masterclass, which is a product that we offer that is outside of this platform, it is on a platform called Thinkific, you can learn how to make this binder. We'll link to that in the description below. We also have um, a link to this when you sign up for our email list and you get your little welcome thank you confirmation that you're subscribed to our email list, there is a button you can click to download our um, Ultimate Cruise binder. So again, if you'd like to do that, jump on our email list, we'll link to it in the description, and you can get a copy of the outline and how I organize this little number. But we're also going to film an episode on how we organize it, hopefully on our next cruise. No promises, but we'll get something to you within the next couple of months. Um, that's a nice little video explaining how we do that. Another thing that I like to pack, and again, we're kind of getting away here, guys, from, we're moving away from the carry-on bag now, and we're talking about what's gonna go in my suitcase. So I know I didn't really clearly delineate that, but we're, we're into suitcase land now. This is a Travelon jewelry roll. As you can see, I just kind of opened it up, and it has wonderful little divider pockets for all your jewelry, and it is a very small profile, teeny tiny. It has a little hook. You can hang this either on the back of your bathroom door in the stateroom, you could put it in a drawer, or you can do what I do, and that is to hang it in the closet with all of your clothing. So you can kind of hang it next to your clothes and see what matches, what jewelry matches your clothing. And I just love this. You've seen this over and over. Even though it's a funky mustard color, I tend to use it all the time. Okay. Next up, we have some of our stateroom essentials pouches. We like to pack into these awesome pouches. This print is really hard to find, but I suggest that you look for these packing pouches at stores like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross in their travel section. They often have them. Um, this first bag here is a medication bag. It has more hand sanitizing wipes, but then it has a small supply of Band-Aids and medications for our family. So pain reliever for my son, a bunch of cough drops, and an assortment of, a small assortment of cold medication in case any of us were to become ill. We would have a small supply until we could get somewhere to get medical treatment or to a store that had what we needed. I found in years past that it's just such a good idea to travel with small supplies of medications that you may need. Another item that is in here is butterfly closures. Um, the last One of the last cruises we went on, my son was wildly dancing through the stateroom and he fell and he cut his 
uh, his little uh, eyelid open at the brow. And we didn't have a butterfly or steri strip type of closure. And I vowed never to cruise again without those. He did not need stitches, but he did need something to kind of squeeze it together, the wound a little. Sorry, kind of gross. Um, but now we travel with those little butterfly closure band-aids as well. All right, so that's the medicine bag. This is our standard stateroom essentials bag. In this bag, you will find... Ooh, that zipper might be getting a little rusty. These have seen some, these have seen some use. You'll find a pop-up hamper, which is in our store. You will find a little crossbody purse, which I plan to travel with. I purchased this at Marshall's. It is, I think it's my Tagalongs brand. I haven't been able to find many of these, but I have a waist pack that is identical to this. And this is actually just a teeny tiny crossbody. Okay. Then I have some um what we call C bands. These are those motion sickness bands that you can place on your wrist at the P6 point to alleviate motion sickness. Or, you know, if you're just taking a bumpy tender ride or having a rough night at sea, those can really help. We also have a non-surge power strip here. Please be very careful traveling with these as many cruise lines no longer allow them, but we are going to give it a try. Hope it doesn't get confiscated. We also have a travel alarm clock here, which is in our store as well. Those are nice. If your stateroom doesn't have a clock that's easy to see, which many of them don't, it's nice to have, and some little sticky notes to leave notes for one another or to leave a note for our room steward, things like that. So those are the essentials. Now we're going to start talking about clothing. We're going to start with my clothing for this cruise and then um, go through and talk about the boys. Um, I'm taking seven dresses for seven nights. The first dress is an off the shoulder dress that I got at Target. Mr. Chris TV, can you see that okay? Is that a good level? I think it was less than $24. Just super comfortable, cottony, and as you can tell, <laughs> because of what I'm wearing right now. I live in off-the-shoulder dresses. They're so comfortable and they're easy to wash and they just feel flattering and nice to me. I also have the black version of the dress that I'm wearing right now that I bought at Express years ago. You guys have seen these things over and over. You've probably seen them dozens of times in videos. I am a creature of habit and I just love them. Next up, I have this styling code dress. It's kind of a mini dress that I got last year at Macy's and it's just so comfortable. I wore this in our Singapore vlog. If you haven't seen that one, you can see it there. Again, very lightweight. These can be worn to dinners or if the weather warms up, which I don't know that it will, we're expected to top out at about 60 degrees Fahrenheit every day in port. But if the weather warms, I will re-wear these on port days. Otherwise, it's going to be jeans during the day and dresses at night for dinner. All right, this next dress is a free people dress that I bought at Macy's. You've seen this before as well. It has a gorgeous dipped back. I don't even know if you can see that very well, but it's so pretty, flattering. Again, very cottony and comfortable and kind of elegant, really. It can be casual, it can be elegant. Another repeat dress, guys. I just have my faves. This is a Stitch Fix. I think this is a Sam Edelman off-the-shoulder dress that I got in, from Stitch Fix, and I absolutely love it. It's very feminine, and it goes really well with my neutral shoes. So that's that's that. Um, another ancient, ancient dress. You guys, there's so many repeats in this video. Another kind of mini dress with fun back detail. I don't even remember where I got this. Maybe Forever 21 on the, sh on the sale rack. But it's cute. It's neutral. And again, it matches my shoes. So you see a theme here? I kind of had to make sure that I didn't have to overpack shoes. All right, let's talk formal dresses. I think these are the two that I'm taking. I'm not 100% sure, so if you see different dresses in the pictures, don't be surprised. This is a bar three dress from Macy's with a teeny tiny bit of a peep sleeve there. It's kind of a mini dress. It's very basic, kind of a basic little black dress. And the second dress is this gown with ruffles that you saw me wear to Alaska two summers ago. It is an off-shoulder, one-shoulder dress. It's very long and very ruffly, and it makes me feel like a girl. So I love that dress and I'm going to wear that. I'm also packing the same packable puffy jacket that we wore to Asia. As you can see right here, it um, compresses into this little packable bag. So that's a very compelling reason to pack something like that if you're going carry on only. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my shoes. I'm going to tell you what's in my packing cubes, but I'm not going to go into detail and open them because it, we, it tends to be kind of repetitive. It's usually the same thing. So I'll tell you very quickly that this here is underwear, bras, socks, and swimsuits. This is um, swimsuit cover-up or two, and my pajamas, and my shirts 
for this cruise, which are mostly long sleeve cotton shirts. And then the bottom cube contains things like jeans. I'm taking three pair of jeans on this cruise because I really think we're gonna have cooler port days, kind of spring-like. So three pairs of jeans, one hoodie, and one pair of, one exercise outfit basically, in case I wanna go to the gym or in case we do some kind of an active excursion or in case we do the Himalayan ropes course on MSC Meraviglia, I'm gonna to wanna to have an athletic wear type of an outfit. So that's what's in the cubes, but again, we're just not gonna elaborate because you'll see what I'm wearing when you watch the vlogs. But let's talk about shoes. I am taking, let's see, one, two, three, four pair of shoes on this cruise. I'm taking this pair of sandals, these are from a brand called Jelly Pop and I got them at Famous Footwear. You've seen them before. I wore them to Asia. I literally wore these every night to dinner except formal nights. I love wedge sandals. I feel very comfortable in them and they just work really well for me. I'm taking a pair of flip-flops for poolside use. These are my usual Sanook flip-flops that I know and love and we keep those in our store. And then I'm taking this pair of Michael Kors uh, formal night shoes, and I'm thinking these are gonna look pretty gorgeous up against the Swarovski crystals on the, on the staircase on MSC Meraviglia. So you're gonna be seeing some Instagram stories with my feet and that staircase. Make sure you're following us on Instagram to see that. Okay, now for the shoe story. So if you've watched our, um, our vlogs before, you know that our whole family are huge fans of Nike Tangen sneakers, T-A-N-J-U-N. They're my favorite shoes in the world, but I was getting tired of them. I've been wearing the same pair for over two years. So I went on a quest to find some fun, casual walking shoes. And I actually went to Macy's and I found some Skechers shoes that I really liked, but they didn't have them in my size. So I went ahead and ordered these two pair of slip-on Skechers shoes. I put the box too far away. I can't remember the, the name of them, but if you'd like to know the name, send me a direct message over on Facebook and I can get them to you. They came in the mail. They're so cute and they even have a little sparkle to them. But I wasn't super in love with the way that they fit my feet. I'm really picky about shoes. So I decided to keep this pair for daily wear because I think at home they're, they're gonna be really fun. I've decided to send these back, even though they're gorgeous and super cute. I don't need another $60 pair of shoes right now, but I kept them in order to show you guys because I was able to find both pair on Amazon and I have placed them in our European shopping store in case you'd like to check them out. But ultimately, I decided I'm not going to take either pair of these shoes on the cruise. Instead, I went out to Famous Footwear and I found another pair of slip-on sneakers. These are an Adidas cloud form that I absolutely love. Mr. Chris Tips TV found them for me and he said, honey, these match your jacket. So they're so fun, I love them. I don't wanna wear white tennies to Europe. I feel like it's kind of gauche. So these are the shoes that I'm taking and I'm really happy with the fact that they're slip-on and airport friendly and they're a little bit fashionable. So I hope you guys like these. I think they're really cute. Okay, so I think we've covered just about everything that I wanted to talk about also have a curling iron back there that's getting packed. And I'm sure there's a few little teeny tiny items that I haven't packed yet that I will figure out <laughs> during the next week or so while we get ready for our cruise. So if you see something missing and you want to leave me a comment, go right ahead. You might just catch us before the cruise and we can, we can make sure we get those items in. Okay, next up, we're gonna talk about Junior Editor. So here's a few things that Junior is taking. His packing cubes are back there and in his skinny packing cube, we've got things like socks. Well, actually, let me show you those first, okay? Let's just pop over here and I can show you about how much we're taking for him. Let me bring these over here. Okay, so Junior has one e-bags slim packing cube full of socks, goggles, swimwear, pajamas, and underpants. So that's this one. He then has another medium e-bags packing cube that has about four or five sets of pants, some more swimwear, I believe, and all of his shorts. And then we are using a bagale compression packing cube. This is what it looks like before it is compressed for the, the rest of his clothing. So t-shirts, sweatshirts, things like that. And then we'll just kind of shimmy his shoes in separately later. The shoes that he's taking, he's taking three pair. And there is actually something a little different that I have to show you guys. For the first time, Junior 
is wearing some dress shoes. We found some really cute little Kenneth Cole reaction, kind of moccasin loafer type thing that look like his daddy's, so we bought these. And then his daily shoe that he'll get the most wear out of are these Nikes. I think they're like a little Nike Flex with Velcro so that in the airport it's easy for him. And then he'll take these for poolside, so some little Quicksilver flip-flops. So those are Junior's shoes. Now we will talk a little bit about his, um, a few things I left on hangers just to show you, um, but obviously most of it's already packed in the cubes. These are two shirts that he can wear for formal night. I have a couple of ties to go with them. And then here's the fun, <laughs> the fun kind of surprise for this cruise is that Junior at Mr. Cruise Tips TV, they're packing their leather jackets, guys. They, um, we've had this, that jacket for Junior for a few years. He finally grew into it. And we found a gorgeous guest leather jacket for my husband at Macy's for $60 on massive clearance. So he's going to be matching his dad. And it's just so fun and exciting. And I think what better place than Europe to go sport your leather jacket and just look too cool for school, right? So that leads us to Mr. Cruise Tips TV. Let's talk shoes because there are some changes in Mr. Cruise Tips TV's shoe packing. So I'm going to show you all three of his shoes right now. I was able to find links to these too, you guys. It's a miracle. But he got these Go Tour shoes that are going to be worn for all of the dinner nights. They are kind of like a driving moccasin, but they have a really nice formal look to them. So we've linked to those in our European store. And then he found these awesome Skechers air-cooled memory foam sneakers. They match everything. They have a little bit of brown, a little bit of gray, and a little bit of black. He's been wearing them in for the past few weeks. And again, they're slip-on. So for airport ease of use, he highly recommends these for you. And we're just so glad that we were able to find them so that you guys can give these a try if you're looking. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, were these true to size? I think they were, right? So he wears a 10 and a half and he was true to the 10 and a half. And same thing with these Go Tour loafers, totally true to size. And he'll also take a uh, flip-flop for poolside. You know, in Europe, we're probably not gonna be wearing flip-flops as much as we would in the Caribbean or Mexico, but you gotta have a pair for visiting the pool, things like that. So those are all of Mr. Cruise Tips TV shoes. As per normal, he has his three medium e-bags packing cubes here, and he has all of his essentials in there, underwear, socks, jeans, t-shirts. He's doing two or three pairs of jeans, probably five or so shirts and polo shirts for day, and then he's taking about six or seven collared shirts for night, including two formal shirts, which I will show you right now. So for his formal wear, he's going with a white and a black uh, long sleeve shirt. These are probably Calvin Klein slim fit. He's already ironed them. And then to wear with his formal wear, he has this, um, this vest and tie that match. Is, are you wearing this both nights? Or you, do you have another tie too? Not sure yet. He hasn't decided, but this might get worn twice, once with the black shirt, once with the white shirt. He's not taking a sport coat or a dinner jacket, guys. I know that's a bit controversial, but we don't feel that it's inappropriate. If you're wearing a tie and dress pants and a vest, I think you look very formal for a formal night, so we're comfortable with that. As I mentioned, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, he has a leather jacket too, so father and son. They're going to be super, super cute. So we had some fun with this. And again, this is from Macy's and we got it on clearance for $60, normally like $2.99. So feeling really good about that. I want to show you some of the um, shirts that he'll be wearing to dinners. Um, most of these were either from Stitch Fix, which is a clothing subscription service that we got him a membership to, or from Macy's. This is a long sleeve, um, I'm gonna move this back so I can squeeze these in. This is a long sleeve shirt that has little tiny skulls on it from Macy's, the brand is INC. This is a heritage brand uh, long sleeve shirt slim fit from Stitch Fix. And then we have some short sleeves, short sleeves, Bigsby, short sleeves from Stitch Fix, already ironed because Mr. Cruise Tips TV irons them and folds them nicely and they tend to stay pretty, pretty nice. And then this is an INC from Macy's and love that one. And another very comfortable kind of um, cottony polo shirt that could double as a port day shirt or a nighttime shirt. So again, in his um, packing cubes, it's mostly jeans and t-shirts and shorts and well, maybe one or two pairs of shorts for swimming if he decides to go swimming. 
And then it's socks and underwear and practical things like his belt for, um, you know, wearing to formal nights and things like that. So what do you say? Let's go see if we can get all of this in our suitcases. Before we do, we invite you once again to please subscribe to our channel. We would love if you would click that notification button so that you know when we're going live or when we have a new video come out. And be sure to follow Cruise Tips TV on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks so much for packing with us. Let's go finish the job. Now we're going to dive into how we structured the three carry-on suitcases that we're taking. This is suitcase number one, loosely known as my suitcase. This is an old Costco favorite of ours that we bought as a part of a two-piece set, and this suitcase has endured for years and years, and we just keep using it. It's really nice, it's expandable, it's fabulous, but it's still a carry-on. All right, let's start with this side of the suitcase. As you can see, my mesh bags with my medicine and my stateroom supplies are on top, and underneath we have two of my packing cubes. So we have a small and a medium packing cube, and here we have both of my son's pairs of shoes that he will not be wearing. You'll notice that none of our sneakers are being packed. Those are actually in. They're going to be in this Begale compression cube here along with this Begale laundry bag because what's going to be happening with these is they're going to be a they're going to be packed completely separately and they're going to be used as our pre-cruise hotel kit. So they're going to have what we're wearing on the airplane and to the port in them separately and they will not go in a suitcase. So I know that's a little bit confusing, but it's one of the best things that we've started to do over the last year is to pack a separate pre-cruise packing cube that doesn't get packed. So what we do is try to borrow from items that are in our suitcase when we do that to lighten the load a little bit because those things are gonna have to go potentially back in your suitcase. So you have to be careful about that. All right, so sun's shoes, two packing cubes, undergarments, swimwear, pajamas, things like that. And then our stateroom essentials bag and medicine bag here. And then this will be sealed up like this and closed. Let's talk about the other side of this bag. We have a lot of stuff in this side of the bag. So we have my jewelry roll. And then around the corners of this bag, I have three pair of shoes. So my flip-flops, my wedge sandals, and my formal shoes, and then my large packing cube are all in here. Actually, yep, this is my large packing cube. So this has a great majority of my jeans and my shirts and things like that in it. So that's this suitcase. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap to suitcase number two. We'll be right back. All right, this is suitcase number two, loosely known as my son's suitcase. You've seen this suitcase before. This is this purple aqua and white one that we got at a discount store a long time ago and we can't seem to find a duplicate. So this is a combination of items. This is one slim packing cube for my son, the Begale compression packing cube, my backpack, which I'm just going to lay over here before we close the bag. This is the anti-theft backpack from Travel On that I mentioned earlier. On the other side, we have a mix of my things and my son's. This overly stuffed <laughs> e-bags medium packing cube is all of my dresses, including my formal dresses, folded, hopefully, they're not gonna wrinkle too badly. And then back here is my son's clothing. So this is his, his evening shirts and most of his pants. So this will get, get placed here, and then we'll probably squeeze a few things in around the edge, and then we'll shut this one up. And then now we're gonna move on to suitcase number three, which is my husband's. Hubby is packed into the beautiful new TLS 22-inch hybrid carry-on spinner from eBags that we're in love with. This is kind of a rusty red color. It's very pretty. You're not going to lose this sucker on the luggage carousel. All right, on this side, he has this two medium packing cubes. This is the same as all of our previous packing videos. He is a creature of habit, and he has his medium packing cube strategy down to a T. What I love about this bag, this side has some little straps to help you compress a little bit more, and it's it's very, very roomy. The suitcase is actually kind of small too. The 22 inch profile is perfect for carry on and makes you feel like you can easily hoist it up into an overhead bin. Okay. Flipping over to the other side, which is separated by some mesh, we have his third packing cube. I should have mentioned what's in these cubes too. This looks like, um, 
pajamas, cozy clothes, and socks on one side. We'll go back and talk about what's in the other cubes as well. This is jeans, pants, and socks along this side. And this looks to be all of his shirts with a few more socks. So what he does is he kind of lines each side of the packing cube with some socks. One of them I can feel right here, I think it's this one, has his belt wrapped all the way around the side of the packing cube too for maximum efficiency. He's a man packer, a good man packer. So anyway, jammies, cozy clothes, um, probably a pair of shorts and more socks in this cube. And then right here in one of our Bag It by Joanne shoe bags, we have his flip-flop sandals. And then here he has his, um, his driving moccasins, aka his nice dinner shoes. And as mentioned before, the sneakers will be on all of our feet. So we didn't have to pack any of the sneakers. They're all on our feet. So other than the carry-on bags, which you've already seen, this is it. This is how we're packing for seven nights to the Mediterranean late spring, early winter. We hope this video has been super helpful. Thanks for sticking around to the end. And until next time, see you on the high seas.